He said, oh, if we not fucking, then you not my girl. Straight like that. So I'm about to get put out with a nigga that, don't, that, that just broke up with me because my pussy too good because he's scared. He gonna give me a pay. None of this shit make me sick. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha Barbie and in today's video I'm telling a story time of how my ex-boyfriend almost got me put out of my mama house. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you like and comment on this video. So... For all the pretty bitches out there, for all the baddies, for all the Barbie dolls, make sure y'all go shop with your girl, Nisha Barbie. Wow! Yes. On deck for your I have lip gloss. I have lip gloss, lashes, keychains. New shit will be coming soon. But for all the bad bitches out there, shop with your girl, Nisha Barbie. Link to my website will be down below. I will put it on for y'all, but I already got some on of this one. Crush. It's not that much because I put ombre around it, but. Go on shop with your girl. Lip gloss and lashes included. Got your lashes for the baddies? Got lashes for the baddies. Lashes on deck for the baddies. I got lashes on deck for the baddies. Shop with me. Nisha Barbie. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Shop with me. Nisha Barbie. Shop with me. Nisha Barbie. Baby, shop with me. Nisha Bark. Nisha Bark. Okay, for real though. I got lashes for y'all. Lip gloss for y'all. Also got keychains. Now these are my Barbie sets. You get lash with lip gloss, and I have more things coming soon. But for now, get your get you a Barbie set. This don't, don't that look just so nice? When you get that, when you get this, if it was in the store, like bitch, buy this shit. Buy the fuck out this shit. Period. Period. Wouldn't that be cute if it was in the store? Now wouldn't that be cute if it was in the store? Quit playing. Quit playing with your girl. Look at that. Better shop with me. Shop with me. Link will be in the description. Anyway, story time of how my ex-boyfriend almost got me put out of my house. Of my mama house. Like, how in the fuck somebody almost get you put out your mama house? But... I'm gonna tell y'all. So, it started when this was like so long ago, like my last relationship. I've been single for five years, all fucking late. But my last relationship was 2015 when I graduated high school. So, hmm. So, boom. I met this dude, whatever. <laughs> he lived like down the street from me and we gonna call him ty or some shit i don't fucking know because y'all need to be knowing who the fuck i'm really talking about because i don't need y'all going all in my business and shit so so boom we're gonna call him ty or some shit so it was a nigga he lived down the street from me at my old house and I forgot what day it was. This is a typical day, whatever. My mama was gone. My brother was gone. I was at the house by myself and shit. So, I go walking and shit. And I just happened to walk down this nigga, this nigga street. 
yes black people go for a walk i went for a fucking walk i was bored i went for a walk it was like the summertime i was i was about to graduate just like may so i went walking down this nigga street of course the nigga see a bad bitch they, they just had this he just had to stop me you know he just had to stop me so i was looking i was like okay like you cute whatever so yeah but i gave my number blah, 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 fast forward fast forward so we end up dating and stuff not for a long time though but we end up dating and if you got your nigga if you got a nigga that lived down the street from you then what you mean you gonna be at his house all the time right i was at the nigga house all the time so we was doing doing the whole shebang shaboom we was we was we was we was fucking okay so of course that was my nigga who ain't gonna they nigga so we ain't do too much though we just used to hang out watch movies together lay up that type of shit because i was only 18 still though i could have did what the fuck i wanted to do but i went on 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 that extra shit but anyway I was at his house like all the time because that was my nigga. He came to my, he came to my house a couple times. He met my brothers and show all that shit, but we ain't gonna get too much into that. But yeah, so boom, I was at his house one day. This is a typical day. Now my mama, she already strict. She already strict. So well, she was strict on me, but. I stayed at this house one time. We were we didn't do too much. We just we was just you already know what we was doing. We were just doing all that. And then the morning after I woke up, I got a big ass text from my mama. Like she was doing too much, in my opinion. Like you could have just bring it down a little bit, just a little. Y'all know how them black mamas be strict on your ass, especially on their daughter. On that ass. On my ass. So I got to text from her early in the fucking morning. I'm, only, I'm not even no morning person. I got to text from her ass talking about, oh, you be at the nigga house too fucking much. Ma'am. Ma'am, what you mean? That's my whole nigga. That was my whole nigga. And he only lived down the street. He only lived down the street. So, of course, I'm going to be at his house. That's my nigga. He lived down the street. Anyway, she like, you be at his house too fucking much. Yes, too fucking much. I'm looking like, excuse me? If it was your nigga, you be at his house too all the time. So, why you talking? What you, what you talking about? You need to come get your shit because I'm about to put you the fuck out. She said more shit too, but that was the main, the main of the shit. You be at this house too fucking much. I'm about to put your shit out. You, you need to fucking go. You can go somewhere else with all that shit. Ma'am. Ma'am. Who are you? What? Huh? Oh, God, please, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking like, what the fuck going on? Like, why you early in the morning? It's too early. It's early in the morning. It's too early. So I'm like, she was just going, she was just going, so much shit was just going through my head at one time. I'm like, I'm about to get put out because I'd be at this nigga house. So I told him and he was like, yeah, you do. What the fuck he said after this was some crazy, some real crazy ass shit because homeboy was tripping too. Oh, he could have got it and she could have. You could have got it, mama. You could have. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you you almost had it. Me with these. You, mm. He he definitely could have mm, got these bitch too. Baby. Hey. Okay. Let me go back. Because it's, 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 it's just. I'm remembering all the bullshit. But yeah. 
<laughs> okay. He was like, yeah, I feel like you do need to go. And this is probably where we need to end this shit right here. Now, what the fuck you talking about? It's too early. It's too fucking early for this shit. Like, come on, baby. Like, okay, so the, the shit with him was, we used to, do, mm, mm. now before, we only did it a couple times, and I'm, I was big on using condoms. So, we only did it without condoms twice. Out of all times we did it, which I don't remember how many times we did it, because it probably was a lot, but we didn't do We only did it without condoms two times. So, within them two times, we did it. His ass just so called, he fell in love with the pussy some shit because he was like, oh, the times we did it, whatever, without the condom, I just feel more connected to you. And I was just doing, I was just doing some thinking and I want to just do it with you without condoms like all the time. But I know if I do, keep on, keep on, continue to do without condoms, I'm going to get you pregnant. So that's why we need to end this right here because I ain't trying to get you pregnant. Bitch, the fuck? This man trying to break up with me because he was scared he was going to get me pregnant. Like, I was like, what? Like, we can just do it with condoms. Like, keep go back to how we used to do it. Like, what the fuck you mean? You trying to break up with me because you going to get me pregnant? Like, no. I know how to hop. I know how to hop the fuck off the... I will hop the fuck off that dick if I need to. Soon as that nigga be like, oh, I'm about to come. I'm about to, oh, no, the fuck you're not. I'm about to get the fuck up. Like, but he was so-called scared. So I'm like, we can just do it without, like, do it with condoms. Like, no, no, your pussy too good, whatever. Da, da, da. I, want, I, I don't want to use condoms no more. I don't want to use condoms. Just like that. I ain't, I ain't using no condoms. Niggas got me fucked all the way fucked all the way up you hear me so i was just like you're 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 weird she's weird all y'all motherfuckers is weird so i was like we just not gonna be fucking then how about that he said oh if we not fucking then you not my girl straight like that so i'm about to get put out of a nigga that don't that, that just broke up with me because my pussy too good because he's scared he gonna give me a pay None of this shit making sense. I got all this bullshit thrown at me in one day. One morning. Early. I'm like, you tweaking. Everybody tweaking. I'm about to just go. See what the fuck she's talking about because I'm about to beat your ass and then go over here and beat her fucking ass. Let me just leave. So he trying to like, yeah, like trying to take, like, take me to go. Like, okay, I'll fucking go. I like how the fuck he was acting. So I fucking like, got back home to my mama house of course we get into it. we at it we at it we that we not even know mm, but <laughs> let's play it. i'm just playing but yeah ain't nothing too much happened she ain't gonna she ain't gonna throw me out she ain't throw me out so over some nick on top of that because you mad i'm what i'm at another nigga house I'm at my nigga house not another nigga house i was at my nigga house so called my nigga house I mean, I was there a lot, but she, she know how black mamas is. She worry, we just up and fucking all the time. Also get pregnant and have all these babies and then ain't got no job. Cause I wasn't working. He was working, but I wasn't working. I was graduating. I was too focused on graduating and passing and going to college and all that shit. But she was worried about I was going to get pregnant and all that shit. So which every mother fucking would think about like your child up there at the nigga house all the time. Of course she was going to think that shit, but. She ain't put me out the fuck. So, long story short, me and him end up breaking up later after that. Not that same day, but eventually, days or weeks later, we end up breaking up. Because I like how the fuck he was acting. So, all of a sudden, a bitch got sick. A bitch got sick. Now, I thought it was like a regular sickness because I'm always the one in the household that gets sick every fucking time. Everybody in the house, my brothers, my mama, can be good throughout the whole fucking year. Don't be coughing, don't be sniffing, <laughs> nothing. It just be me. And like, since I was fucking 16 or some shit, I always been me. Bitch, bitch didn't have the fucking flu. Bitch didn't have her asshole pumped. All types of shit. Because I was sick. So I'm thinking it's just a regular fucking sickness. 
because it always be me to be sick. But no, a bitch was throwing up. A bitch was a bitch was going through it. I'm telling you. So I did what a normal motherfucker would do. I ain't go to the hospital, nah. That's what a white person would do. I did what a black motherfucker would do. I looked on Google, bitch. Period! What? Now, Google is a motherfucker. It will fuck up your whole fucking day. Don't get get symptoms and look up shit on Google, because you will be depressed as fucking ready to kill your fucking self. I'm trying to tell you what happened. Like, bitch, why the fuck I'm throwing up? Why I'm nauseous? Oh, you pregnant, bitch. You just told me the worst shit ever for me. Not for some bitch. I know y'all love to pop the little pussy and get pregnant by a nigga that don't want you, but that ain't me, bitch. I'm like, why the fuck I'm nauseous? Might be pregnant. Why the fuck I'm throwing up and shit? Bitch, you pregnant. Who? Bitch, no. I was like, and this the thing. He told me before, that's why he wanted to leave me alone because he was scared to get me pregnant. Now look at me. Now look, look at, at this me. dude. He didn't tell me. I didn't listen. I should have fucking listened. To I should have broke up with his ass when I had the fucking chance. When he said that shit the first time, I should have broke up with his fucking ass. But I ain't listen. Stupid, of course. We all be a little stupid at one period of our fucking life. So um, give me a break. But I was so fucking mad, man. Google would fuck up your whole damn day. I'm trying to tell you, Google would do it. But. I didn't tell my mama. Of course I couldn't tell my mama. Like, what? No, you can't tell your mother. You gotta be for sure first. You gotta, mm, mm, first. So, I called him over. I'm like, you need to bring your ass over because the bitch not, we need to talk about some shit. I'm not about to deal with this shit no more. So, he came over, whatever, eventually, whatever, da, da, da. I told him what was up. He was like, oh, I already know why you, why you even call me over here. I'm like, how the fuck you know? Oh, you think you're pregnant, honey? Are you pregnant? Why else I will be calling you? Because I don't want you back, sir. I do not want you back. So why else would I be calling you? Of course, it's about if I'm expecting, then yeah, duh. We talked it out, whatever. He said if, it, if I was pregnant, then he'll take care of the baby. But the thing is, I want my to have a nigga day. So, but long story short... I was not pregnant, bitch. I was so happy because nigga not about to get me down. Nigga not about to tie me down. I was on that sh No, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't like that. But I wasn't pregnant, bitch. I was happy as fuck. So good thing I didn't tell my mama that I thought I was pregnant because she really would have put me out. And what if I was fucking pregnant for it? I would have been on this fucking streets at 18 and pregnant. 18 and pregnant, bitch. I mean, that's better than 16 and pregnant. But still, no. I don't want to do that shit. But after that, I stopped talking to his ass because he wasn't shit. He wasn't a shit ass nigga. He had a whole ass job, but he he wasn't giving me shit. He wasn't doing shit for me, for real. So he was a bum ass, crusty ass, ugly ass, dusty ass nigga. And I'd never fuck with his ass again. And that was my last relationship. And I've been single ever since then. Not because of him, but because of niggas, period. Y'all get on my fucking nerves. It's almost six years since I've been single since June. This year, in June, it will be six years, but hopefully, before that day come, I'll be cuffed up. Because that bitch do got a crush. That bitch do got a crush. I ain't gonna tell y'all who the fuck it is, though. I mean, if y'all do want to know who the fuck it is, then comment under this video. I might do a video with him. Like, introduce my crush to y'all. Then y'all know who the fuck it is. But nah, because I, I think I need to keep him low for now because y'all be doing too fucking much y'all bitches be doing way too fucking much now i put my good ass fine ass nigga on this social media shit until i fucking know that he's gonna be mine forever y'all wanna find out who the fuck it is just comment on this damn video and i'll show do another video and describe how me and him met i ain't gonna say too much but let me know below if y'all wanna y'all wanna know who the fuck my crush is after five years, who my crush is, my real crush is. But this nigga here, this nigga right here, this nigga right here, y'all can't see him because he's not here right now. But this nigga right here, he might be the one for me. After five years, might have to go out there with the nigga. Uh,
shit. Ready to get it started. Bitch, I got no sex. Oh, he the blood. Bye, bro. What's up? But yeah. But I'm about to end this video, y'all. That's time how my fucking ex-boyfriend almost got me put the fuck out of my mama house because she thought I was fucking around and getting fucked and getting pregnant and shit. And I almost had a pregnancy. I had a pregnancy scare. But she didn't want she to read. She God blessed a nigga. And it was false. But so I'll see y'all in my next fucking video. I'm out this thing. Peace, peace, peace.